thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of agents and brokers in her business. And one of them is my sponsor, Sheila Fergeron, who I love and adore and helped James and I so much. Give Sheila a hand. Welcome to the stage, Sheila. I love you. Thank you, everybody. Steal your notes. So I am super grateful to be here. And um, whether you realize it or not, um, each one of you have actually had a profound impact on my life because of this company. And as Cliff said yesterday, I am standing on the shoulders of giants, like the gentleman who just spoke, as well as all of the other people you've seen over the last couple days. And it isn't something that I did on my own. I mean, the numbers I have are really, the truth is none of us can do it on our own. And that's the beauty of this model, is that we link arms together and we help each other be successful. And over the last couple of days, I've heard some amazing stories, people coming up to me and telling me things that how their lives have changed and about their hopes and dreams and what they're excited about and what they plan to accomplish. And that's really my favorite part <laughs> of coming to these things as I love hearing the stories. And our friend Jean Frederick has come up with a phrase about EXP making real estate fun again. And if I may, I'd like to add another one to that. EXP, giving agents hope to dream again. Because that's really what we're all doing. I keep hearing about people, about they're finally accomplishing their dreams. They're finally doing things that they never were able to do before and accomplish before. And I'm going to skip through my whole story because we're running out of time in the room. But um, he asked me to give a couple of nuggets. And one of my favorite quotes is by Will Smith. And he said his grandma used to say to him, don't let failure go to your heart and don't let success go to your head. And, you know, everyone in this room knows that you have to fail big to get big in real estate. Because really, the more you fail, the more no's you get the more yeses you eventually get, right? And with agent attraction, because we're talking to friends and colleagues and people that we've been close to, it's super important to not get discouraged and not take it personal and not let it go to your heart, not compare yourself to other people in this room and to um, just keep your focus on the fact of I'm putting my blinders on. I'd love everybody to think about putting blinders on and that realize that you are offering something to someone, you are serving, you are giving great value to people and that you're giving them an opportunity that isn't offered anywhere else by anyone else and that that's why I called Brent. People are like, what in the world? You call this dude that's like, 100 beast, 100 million dollars, and you're just like this little agent out of Plano. And the reason why I felt comfortable calling him and all the other mega agents that I called that I knew is that I really believed that this was the absolute greatest opportunity there has ever been given in the real estate industry. And so because of that, I, I felt like the gain was so great for everyone else, I really wanted to tell everyone about it. Um, have, has anybody read the book, uh, Good to Great? My friend Michael Reese last year told me to read that book. He, he's been working with me on producing a couple of books on podcasts and stuff. And Jim Collins interviewed 11 companies out of the Fortune 500 companies. And the thing that he realized out of those companies is he said all the CEOs had what he called level five leadership. And he said it's a blend of personal humility and professional will. And he said they're modest and willful, humble and fearless, ferocious, and they'll do whatever it takes that needs to be done. He said, but I don't know how they get the humility. In his book, he actually says, this is what it is, this is what I've seen in them, but I don't know how they got there. 
So I would like to encourage you to read a book, if you have not yet, by a gentleman named Pat Williams called Humility. He will teach you how to get there. And it's one of my favorite books, and he, Pat calls it the X Factor. And if you don't know Pat Williams, he is, owns the Orlando Magic team and super famous in sports industry. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Orlando. Um, but he said it's the most important trait any human can possess. And he describes it not as the absence of confidence, but as the absence of arrogance. And he says, humility is modest and realistic view of one, one's own importance. He, and somebody once said that humility doesn't mean thinking less of yourself. It just means thinking of yourself less. And the reason why I'm talking about this is we've heard lots of people, lots of stories, lots of amazing things about building RevShare, but really it comes down to what are we building? And when you look at over the past year, there have been a lot of posts and tweets and videos from other brokerages who have clearly shown us not the absence of arrogance and have demonstrated things that, in my estimation, is going to be the downward spiraling of companies and people over the next year. Because when you, when you are looking to be like the level five leader, you really do have to learn to have humility and learn how to have the focus and determination to not give up. And honestly, all of you guys in here are leaders. You're, you're the top in the business, in production and growth. You're really the most influential people in this company that are in this room. You're the backbone to what we're building. And it's really important to build a strong foundation of men and women that are focused on leading the way to the future success of EXP by way of humility. And we want level five leadership. We want to build a strong, sustainable, enduring company because we really do want to build the greatest real estate company in history and leave a legacy for future generations. And when we achieve it, I pray that all the glory will go to God. Thank you. All right.